This is north right yeah, there. Yeah, north. Yep. So, so, ba so basically, we come out east, southeast. Yeah. You'll pick that up. The other thing is, you got that river, so you can't. You know, you only got one direction. But I mean, yeah. I mean, look. I mean, it's scrub oak. I mean, I mean, it's just, it's insane. Say, Mark, no. You guys have been hunting this for years. Twenty. 20 years. 20 years. And you said you never really have seen any change no. in the growth? Or no, nothing. Just substan substandard soil? Or well, it's, it's sand. Sand. Sandy soil. Um, you know, sandy soil tends to you know, drain better. But with the scrub oak, this is the condition in the area. It just stays pretty much this way unless you do some harvesting or cutting or burning. Um, sandy soil, though, also has some tendency to have more ticks. Ah. You know, a few more ticks because it's, you know, it's a warmer soil. Yep. It's not as wet. But this area is just one of those areas that, you know, I like using for fermented hunts and for yep. new, new hunters out there because uh, it's more open to get an opportunity to shoot some birds. Yeah, yeah. Now, when it comes to woodcock on a dry year, well, those woodcock come into this sandy. The reason like why they come into the reason why they come into this soil, Tom, is we have water right next to us. Okay. So what I found out this year, it's been really prevalent this year, is grouse and woodcock. No matter where there's water, the, the grouse and woodcock are there. Okay. You know, like, like when it rains, all of a sudden now your water disperses. But you think about, okay, where was the water before the rain? A little creek, a little, and that's where the grouse and woodcock are. Mm. And it's this year has been we've hunted some of our best spots this year uh, that didn't have water, empty. Really? As soon as we get into water, next to water, a muddy edge, there's grouse and woodcock. Mm. So they're 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 really holding true. But so what happens is when it gets wet and they're standing in water, everybody thinks okay, it's you know they're everywhere. Right. The grouse have moved to these areas where there's water, and just because it rains or snows doesn't mean okay now we get, get to disperse. Right. They're still going to stay in those same areas. Now, when you're talking <clears throat> about disperse too, when did your dispersal happen this year with your grouse broods? Uh, it has it hasn't all happened. See that isn't that it hasn't happened. This year? The broods don't seem to be as big. And we're talking fives, you know, in that area, right. five, six sometimes three but we're still we're still dispersing them now wow uh, woodcock uh, before, well it would have been in the end of September uh, we were getting two and three woodcock up in a in a circle as my big as my arms so some of those families wow. were still together wow which is not common but there doesn't seem to be as much pressure but the the broods are still there and you know when I look at grouse <clears throat> if you look at the foliage you look at the foliage here you're about 30, 40 percent left. Right. Where where you came from, you're 80 percent still on the tree. Great. Some hasn't covered. Yep. So same thing with the grouse is, you know, two weeks ago, you still had all the tops were full of leaves. Mm -hmm. So what happens is we had one day was uh, close to 20 grouse and only three were on the ground. Everything was out of the tree. Wow. Well, the reason why is they're up in the tree. They're safe. Right. You know, right. we right. can't so. see them. They're safe from predators. They're safe from arrow predators, ground predators. They're watching the dogs. Yep. So, again, they don't have to, you know, right now, the grouse go up in the tree. You can pick them off. They I mean, I mean, when I say pick them off, you're not hunting them. Right. But, you know, they're vulnerable yep. from yep. aerial so. and you because right. you can see them. Right. So, right. so now when the leaves are down, now the grouse, it, they change. All of a sudden, now they change. All of a sudden, now they're up in the tree. They feel safe. They fly out low and quiet because of the, all the shrubbery. Yep. Now it's like, okay, now it's game on. Right. Because now it's now it's you're matching wits with them. Right. It's like, okay, how am I going to get out of here? Right. You know, got the dog. You see, you see the birds moving a lot. I mean, I, I watched a woodcock yesterday. We we chased at least six yards. Point release. Point. We watched this woodcock just going and going. And what is going to get up? It, and what happened is we forced it to an edge where it was an opening and it took it. Right. But it was, it was the ground cover about four feet up was a lot of brushes and yep. shrubs and it was just kind of going like this until it could feel like it could get out. Yep. It wasn't going to fly until it had to. But when when the flights are in here, I don't use them as, as a harvest. I use them as a dog as a dog component, working dogs, work you know, steadying young puppies, all those things. And that's the fun part. Last, or, last time we hunted Wisconsin, we did that very thing. Remember, <laughs> it wasn't here. I think it was a little further east. Yep. Yep. Which little dog was that? Jordy. We're going to put her down on the ground first today. Okay. We're going to okay. put her down today. She was what? Six, seven, eight months? Uh, like eight that? months, yeah. Eight months. Yeah. yeah, now she's four. So you and um, Greg went a different direction. Mark and I went back to the truck, 
put her guns away. When we, that was the funnest. She, she, her eyes about bugging. Oh yeah, her she's head. like, Dad, is this what you want? I'm like, Yeah, this yeah. is what I want. <laughs> but you know, so so we're, we'll see where she was then to where she's now. It's gonna be awesome. And wow. the thing is with her is normally I let my older one out first. You know, uh, and she she's a very when I say aggressive, she's she's hard hunting. She's she hunts different than my older dog. So like today, I want to let her out because this will settle her down for the rest of the day. Yeah. You know, and now my older one, when I let her out second, she's gonna run a little bit bigger just because like okay, fine, I didn't get my first shot. Yeah. Like I always, <laughs> and it's amazing how you see these with dogs, how 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 they respond yeah. you know it's it's not the competition to me it's a competition to them, to them. They, you know it's like who gets out first you know yeah. so this one out here we'll, we'll put her down first and uh we'll see how she does what cock? i'm not touching it i'm not touching it almost stepped out we'll get it right over the top of her come come that's three birds right here come jordy Put it up! Woo! Good job. <laughs> Woo! You pass the girl. Come on, come on. Put it up. Come on, come on. Good job. That one put on a That one put on a show for her, didn't it? It was like, it was, Tommy, my gun was like, whoo, whoo! <laughs> Oh, it was oh, a dipsy man. doodle. I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> it got out. <laughs> yeah, and then I had this tree in front of me. I'm like, just keep swinging through. I, I, I told my sons, remember, trees are 90% water. Shoot through it. <laughs> and they're looking at me like, yeah, yeah, you, you're a biologist. You figure that out, huh? Midwest Gun Dog Kennels is your full time gun dog training facility. For over 30 years, we've customized our training to fit each individual gun dog. We know it takes a well-trained gun dog to handle wild birds to make every hunting trip a dream trip. Let Midwest Gun Dog Kennels put excitement back into your hunt of a lifetime. Midwest Gun Dog Kennels, where experience equals excellence. No matter the size, age, or activity level of your best friend, you want a dog food that's natural, feeds great, and is full of all the goodness you demand. That's what we pack into every bag of Country Vet Naturals. Country Vet Naturals are just what the name says, natural goodness in every bag. We also make grain-free cat and dog food and treats. Learn more and find a dealer at CountryVetNaturals.com. Country Vet Naturals, loved by pets, trusted by owners. Well, as you might be able to tell, I spend a lot of time behind a shotgun. Whether it's at the clay target fields, sporting clays fields, doing exhibitions, or bird hunting, I always trust my shooting skills to the Rio Elite. Not only for the lighter recoil, but as you can tell, the harder hitting, consistent patterns. These clay targets don't stand a chance when you shoot Rio Elite. Make your next day on the water even better with Airwave Pedestal, the only air suspension system that can be custom adjusted to the weight of the rider. No unreliable springs, no oil-filled shocks to leak. Our patented design utilizes a two-stage suspension system to smooth out the roughest ride, a limiting travel to an industry-leading two inches. This boating season, enjoy your time on the water to the fullest. Find out how at airwavepedestal.com. She, she's a nice dog, and, and it's the first dog that I ever had one of my family members, my son, actually named the dog for me. Really? Yep. He got uh. back from Afghanistan. Yeah. We're driving home from uh, visiting his brother in Milwaukee, and 
we were talking about dog names and listening to the radio and they were talking about uh, something to do with the Packers and they talked about Jordy Nelson. He looked at me and said, what about Jordy, Dad? And I said, oh. you, I said you got back from Afghanistan? Jordy's the name. Oh, buddy. Oh. Tommy? Uh, another one. Three more. Oh. You're <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, here, here's the thing is, Tommy. I could, I heard a click. I didn't reload the last time, and then I had to go to the top barrel. Idiot. And uh, whew. so, what was the number there? Three or four? Tommy, I'm, I'm so lost in my number. Where are we at? That's a girl. That's a girl. Good shot, Tommy. I just, I just needed a stick in my arm. That's what I needed. Good girl. Well, come over here. <laughs> Tommy, nice job. Nice dog work. Whew. I just need a little brush slapping me in the face, buddy. Awesome. Wow, look at that bird. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, they're just gorgeous. Nice little female. Whew. That's unbelievable. Beautiful, beautiful bird. One of my favorites. Huh. Oh. Huh. Well, you know, the thing is, how can you not have fun doing this? 36. I mean, this. Unbelievable. I mean, these are. I'm going to tell you, Mark. 36 is two good days for most people. And three. Three good days, a lot of times. You're right. But this is, as you can tell with dogs, this is how you make dogs. Yep. Birds, birds, birds. Wild birds. I'm gonna tell you this what. Woo! Like Ric Flair. That bird was hit. Wow! There's some sharpshooting. <laughs> wow. Didn't we just say something about we're wearing a squirt and uh, shooting? I think we said something like that, didn't we? Jordy, sorry, sweetie. Sorry, honey. And the thing is, that when you shoot like that, please pick up your uh, your holes because you want no remembrance of your <laughs> missed shots. <laughs> no, this way you just just put those in your trophy case. A couple layups. That I shot twice. Mark, how many times did you shoot? Twice. Tommy, one. I heard it. You can't deny. Yeah. I heard it. Oh, I heard Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, that was awesome! Whew. You might have to carry me back to the truck. My heart's going so fast. Yeah. We got a point right here. Oh. Tommy, you got the right. Mark, you got the left. One cock! Whoa! 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 Two of them got it! Dead bird. Good job, Mark. Good job, Mark. Two of them went out. One to the left, one to the right. Mark got the one on the left. Nice shooting, Mark. Nice shooting. All right. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Dead bird. She's in that area, isn't she? Yep. Yeah, she, I thought she I don't know if it went that deep. She should be right about now. Dead bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Dead. Dead. What's up? Mark! Did you see it? Yeah, I did. I just pointed it. She did. Yep, she bumped it. She bumped it. Well, she didn't do it. It went on its own. Oh, it went on its own. Okay, well, that's okay then. All right. Yep, no, they're fine. They they like this short stuff, you know. They like to fly they're into really it. And, and then they, and then, and then if you get on your hands and knees, you can look in here. They can run anywhere. Yeah. But they like to get in here because they all of a sudden they feel like they're, they're cover over the top. It's crazy how many birds. I've never seen birds like this. 
<laughs> so you at 14 or 15? 15. Okay, all right. So we're doing okay? I right, we're doing just fine, big man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd like to say a cuss word, but I, I know they'll bleep me. But you just can't, you just can't make this stuff up. Come on, let's go. Come on. Now this is a tough shot here, Mark, because there's... Woodcock, towards you, Tommy! Oh. I couldn't have been set up anymore for oh. I heard a lot of barking over there! Yuck! Woo! Woo! This is the most picturesque one oh. you could ever imagine. Mark! <laughs> Look where I am! Oh! <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. So that what, Mark, what you said this had to be it, don't what, you what, think? What Jordy did a great job. The way it's the came down. Jordy. I'm standing here Jordy. in the wide come. open. In the wide open. Jordy, come. The bird comes out, floats Jordy. right in this Jordy. big opening over the spot. Come. I never touched the feather. Twenty yards. Careful. I have here. no idea. Jordy. Jordy. That was horrible. That's all I can say. I thought you hit the bird. I mean, right there. Whoa! Whoa! Another one cock, Tommy, over your head! No! Whoa! Mark! Mark! Woodcock went at you, Mark! Can't shoot it! No bird! No bird! Come! Right hey, over here! Dead! Hit right there! Another one! That's four! Dead bird! Where at, Marcus? Dakota Pheasant Guide offers the best wild pheasant hunts from the Glacial Lakes area of South Dakota west to the Missouri River. Packages available include everything from self-guided to fully guided hunts. Book your bird hunting adventure now. Fisherman, iTime Promotions is your ticket to an enjoyable and successful day on the water. Call Dennis Foster for your outdoor adventure of a lifetime. Dennis Foster here. I'd like to introduce you to the Drado Catch and Release Boat Latch System. It's back the trailer into the water, pop the cord, and away we go. Once our day in the water is done, we simply roll the boat up onto the bunks until it achieves contact with the bow eye. It clicks securely into place. Away we go. We are exclusive partners with B2Outdoors.com. That's where you're going to want to go and order your very own system. You can enter the promo code ITIMEPROMOTIONS and receive free shipping on your items. When it comes to dog food and treats, you want something natural. A dog food or special reward that feeds great, is made in the USA, and helps your best friend live a long and healthy life. That's what you get with Country Vet Naturals, natural goodness in every bag. And for those of you who want grain-free, we've got that too. Find a dealer and learn more about Country Vet Naturals dog food, cat food, and treats at CountryVetNaturals.com. Country Vet Naturals, loved by pets, trusted by owners.
Gosh darn it. Didn't fly very hard. Careful, careful, careful. That went out low. There it goes again. Another one! Whoa! Above you! Whoa! Touch it up. Just mark it, let her get it. Huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. See what it is. There it goes! What cock? Here! Fetch it up! Fetch it up! Over here! Over here! Two woodcock. Fetch it up. Another one! Three! Fetch it up! <laughs> Dead bird! Come! Dead! Dead! Another bird! Dead bird! Dead bird! Fetch it up! Fetch it up! There you go. Fetch it up! That's a girl. Fetch it up. Come here. Careful, 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 careful. Good girl. There you go. Come. You know where it was? It jumped up. It was in a stuck in a tree and it jumped down. Really? Yeah, right there on that little branch. Well. How many is that now, boys? <laughs> that was at least, what's that, four here? Four? That was, let's get out of here! That's enough. I can't fall any higher. <laughs> I, I think the birds tend to run more now than they used to. I do. Too. I mean, you know, down south, when I hunt them down south, you'll have them run, but not as much. They will move, yeah. but down there they seem a little bit more sticky, yeah. you know. We're up here, they seem, you really have to, your dog has to be on their A game. And we're, we're hunting public lands, and I really notice it after a weekend. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, especially grouse. Yeah, especially oh, my the gosh. grouse. You, they'll run 40 yards. Don't even, they don't even give the dogs a chance. Not a chance. We had you know, a... They've been stirred up by people so much, deer hunters, whoever. Oh, we had... They just get jumping. We had a grouse. Um, it was the last weekend of September. We moved it four times. We moved it four times, and uh, uh, Greg, my hunting partner, I said, where are we? We're right back where we started. Isn't that crazy? We moved it four times. You know, and, and after a while, you start saying, okay, I'm serious about this. Yeah. You know, you got a little angry issues. You know, yeah. we're going to push it. <laughs> yeah. We're going to push it, you know. Yeah. But I'm like, okay, yeah. I took, you know, I'm going to take it personal. Yeah. But I'm thinking, you know, after the fourth time and didn't get a shot, I said, right. I, you know, that grouse is good breeding material because he outsmarted me. But he You know, Tommy, I've had a, I've been fortunate to have a lot of, lot of dogs, yep. fortunate, and you know, some pretty good dogs, and uh, she, what? yep, look at that, right out in the open, and she, uh, she, she probably enjoys it the most of any dog. She does. She loves I mean, she, I mean, she, half the time she's smiling. I mean, she's just. Yep. Like she just she just wants to go and wants to please the whole time. You will kill more birds over dogs that have that passion than any robot that a man can. Have. I mean, I, I you know. So with that woodcock there, Tom, I, I I'm always assuming that's one of the birds we kind of chased out of where it was. So, you know, probably, it's just out here in the open. Normally, you know, you normally you don't find them out here in the open like right. that. You know, there's there's pockets that we have brush over here, and then you know, but the brush is more hazel and more more alder, that type of cover. But there's a lot of people pass up this type of cover because you know it, it's not it's not easy hunting, and your dog has to has to be busy, has to cover itself. Whoa, whoa. That's well, Isn't let's that let's push it the way we were going. I saw it. Last so, how many birds there. were there? Two. So, what are we up? Seventeen. Eighteen. Ah, I'm always one behind you in, in <laughs> everything in everything in life, Tommy. Everything. Always one behind. Good girl. Another. Above you. Did you get her? Did you get it? 
Yep. It looked like you got it. Go over there! Dead bird. Here. Dead bird here. All right. What you got? What you got? Good girl. Come. Come. That's a good girl. Oh. Woo! That elusive grouse. You good girl. Here, want some water? She, she, she had two of them there, huh? Yeah. Yep. Woo! Good job, Tim. Woo! Woo! And a boy, <laughs> that's a beautiful bird. Oh my god. I love the color on it. Look at the different color on it. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Nice. Look at we'll that. have to do a... a it came flying by me, saw me, went up, got a stick in the eye and died. Oh, that's a gosh darn shame. Look at the, <laughs> notice the legs on it. The you got something. She's on another one, boys. Same corner. Mark Fouts, the best day I've ever spent woodcock and grouse hunting in my life. And what I want to stress is public land birds. Whoever says there's no birds on public land, they're mistaken. Thank well, you. You bet, Tom and, and Mark. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for enjoying the day. And uh, let me dogs uh, get a little work in today. And uh, we moved a few birds. The dogs were unbelievable. And uh, again, I want to thank both you girls. You did awesome. And Jordy and Timber, and thank you to uh, the state of Wisconsin for public land. down the line as I'm headed for the land of corn and rye there is a place I'm always satisfied full of remedies to ease my worried mind like pulling catfish on the banks of Cherry Cove watching